Welcome guys, I'm Simitar and well, without excess words, let me begin the walkthrough of Gothic 3 enhanced with the best possible mod pack available for today. Community patch, update pack, quest packet, content mod, consequences and various other minor rebalancing mods to make Gothic 3 a game worthy of true Gothic series fan. Fixes to AI and combat, improvements to many mechanics, gameplay balance and of course, hundreds of new quests, easter eggs, characters and items. Let's go! Ok, let's begin a glorious way of Mirtana's savior. Well, you can see it straight from the few seconds of the game. That notorious combat system where you could simply one-click mash everything to death on level 1 is gone. Now, thanks to alternate AI from Community Patch, Gothic 3 combat is looking like... Well, it is looking like something close to combat finally. Maybe like, you know, very early and light version of uh, Witcher combat. <laughs> Enemies can now block, parry, counterattack you, animals can go and rage and so on. Game is not too hard, no, but simply challenging enough to keep gameplay interesting. You can also notice that I am receiving slightly bigger amount of experience than usual. Am I cheating or want to make game easy mod? No, of course no. The scene is um, another community patch gameplay feature called Alternative Balance. Is there a balance that is making character development system more dependent on the path you have chosen? Warrior, Hunter or Mage. It raises lowering points prices for many skills, uh, gives um, bigger attributes requirements to skill and spells. It is making game more challenging and making you really build your character but not to learn everything possible becoming that invincible mage warrior thief that was really stupid in original game. At the same time, it improves bonuses from primary potions, making alchemy more useful and so on. But in my opinion this balance, while it is great and finally making Gothic 3 a roleplay game in meaning of uh, building your character, it is just a bit too much. And to be able to make that little steps to different skill trees, I tweaked XP modifier in Gotex 3 in the file to give just a bit more experience, 10% more. Once again, as for me, it is a perfect balance while playing with alternative balance. And yes, you are not hallucinating. That was Angar and Lares from Gothic 2. <laughs> would have let us live. Also, some dialogues are text only, as you can see. These dialogues are coming from quest packet or content mod, as not all quests there are voiced. Nothing really bad in it anyway. Can't wait to sleep until the morning come to show you guys how much better the game world is looking with updated graphics by the way. I will skip all this boring loot picking and go straight to the moment when morning is already came and we are starting to talk with friends about situation and beginning our journey. Also. Remember that uh, learning fast skill, this one uh, giving you one uh, bonus learning point 
for each level. The main goal for perfect start, let's say, is to gain needed amount of ancient knowledge and learn this skill while not gaining any additional levels more than level 2, so you can gain maximum profit from the skill. I will skip that part as soon I will upload a separate video guide of how to do this. <laughs> Another fine mess we've got ourselves into. What happened here? Quite obviously, the orcs have won their war against King Robar. And now the orcs are sweeping through the land, enslaving the humans. But most of all, I would like to know what happened to Lester. Take care. I can't help it. I don't like orcs. What's going on with Lester? He was going to get... My runes have lost their power. I don't think it's any different for the other fire mages. I'm going to set out and try to learn the ancient true magic. What are you talking about? Before there were runes, only a very few, very powerful people could do magic. That knowledge must be found somewhere. I will seek it. I'll come with you. We should search separately. You find Zardis. If anyone knows about magic, he will. We will meet again. I'm sure of it. So good luck. I just can't go on. What's wrong? Go look for the ship. You're not gonna find it. What? Pirates. It was all over in a moment. And what about our equipment? What do you think? We'll have to get some new stuff. Talk to Diego. He knows a lot about acquiring things. I'm gonna try and make it to the south somehow. But we'll meet again, surely. I should think so. What's up? Pirates. Those rotten bastards made off with our treasure. Look, what problem? We'll talk later. Just like old times, huh? The orcs weren't all that strong. There must be other tougher ones. Diego is making plans again. Watch out for yourself. We owe you so much. We can talk later. Take care. First a break.
We'll talk later. Take care of yourself. We owe you so much. So, first, we need to get an overview of the mess the orcs have been making. And one of us must find out where Zardas is hiding. I think you'd better take care of Zardas. And where will we get new equipment now? But you know how this works. Collect whatever you can find. And don't let anyone take it from you. You know me. I'll be wherever there's something to be had. Matena is now orc territory. But kissing up to orcs just isn't my thing. I... As you can see, there are noticeable uh, different uh, minor additions here and there, that uh, additional dialogue lines and new quests from our friends, that uh, ghost armor like uh, reference to Gothic one from Diego and so on. That's always really neat, like devil in details that making game much more pleasant to play. This mod setup is also fixing many illogical flaws in storyline, quest design and character behaviors. Here is the simplest example. In Vanilla Gothic 3, Gorn was showing you the lair of rebels. Like, what the hell? You all literally just arrived to Mertana, and Gorn somehow knows the secret rebels lair deep in the woods in country he doesn't know. Okay, now there is a new character, Hunter Tristan, that is a member of this rebel camp exactly, and he is showing the way to you which is much more logical. You can also see the dialogues about Crawler Plate's armor, giving us a hint that uh, recipe is somewhere in the game now. You can find and craft dozens of new items in the game now, with a lot of references to Gothic 1 and Gothic 2. Most are restoring characters, as you already have seen, items, factions and so on. Gosh, just look at this, that lighthouse, you can see it from here and look at the distance, the uh, terrain drawing distance is just insane great and the distant lords. It is looking like several times better than was in the original game. By the way, as you just may have noticed already, there is now a quick loot system in Gothic 3. It is a feature of content mod and it is just amazing, it is saving so much time. Let's just collect a few healing plants, because from what I recall we will anyway need them for the fire mage quest inside the camp.
maybe the only great gameplay mechanics that was good in original Gothic 3 and it is still great. <laughs> yeah, I know that it is strange to hear that at least something in vanilla Gothic 3 was great, that was hunting. It is just just exactly how it should be, and it still feels much more realistic than many modern RPG and medieval game have. The aiming system, how you need to calculate the distance to the target, um, predict uh, where it will be after a new few steps, uh, how surrounding animals and beasts will react uh, if you shoot the animal too close to other animal, that uh, bow shaking from time to time and so on. It was really the best mechanics in the whole game, as you are really feeling this, I don't know, thrill of the hunt when playing. Oh, just look on these trees. Looks great. No, 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 not now. <laughs> uh. Um, sorry for this little frame jump, I just accidentally pressed ALT and F4 while playing, close the game, <laughs> don't even ask me why, I have no idea. <laughs> Oh! 
You don't look like a woodcutter. I think your place is with the warriors down in the cave. How's it going? Uh, not so good. We were chased away from our post by aggressive wild boars. I already told the warriors, but they only think about fighting the orcs. If those beasts don't disappear soon, we won't be able to keep working. The aggressive wild boars are dead. You can go back to work. <laughs> You're... Be very careful when roaming through the woods here. Orc scouts are everywhere in this region. Tell me more about this place. This is the largest rebel camp on the coast. We call it Reddock. I really hope for your sake that you aren't a spy for the Orcs, or we'll make short work of you. I see. I come from our deep. We drove the Orcs from the village. Talk to Javier. He already knows about it. One of our scouts saw every Javier is down below, in the cavern. The if we or lack where what a what a mo with I what pe I'll be I'll do No, we do not know if we can trust you. No, we do not Community patch balances game in all possible directions, for example you can't now instantly trade with NPCs in new factions, which is logical because they don't know you and don't trust you, so you need to gain some reputation with this city or camp. Gosh, quick loot is just brilliant. <laughs> Sebastian. I am the alchemist here in Redock. You wear the clothes of a fire mage. Before the war, I was a high mage of the fire. Then came the day when we fire mages lost our rune magic. What? I, oh, me, what? Uh, le, it, tell oh, the. Oh, tell the. It, what the it is said that they possess powerful magical capabilities but i am no expert if you should find a fire chalice take it to my brethren in nordmar they will be able to tell you more about it than i can no we tell it is i i would gladly do that if you can get the here wonderful now i can share my knowledge with you don't miss this guy as he's giving you one of the main quests that you will be making during the whole game collecting all the sacred uh, vessels when you will have them all you'll be able to restore inos power uh, for one of possible game endings
Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Do you need food, clothes, or maybe a hefty swig from the bottle? M There's nothing new here. You're new here, aren't you? Many refugees have joined us in Reddick lately, but your face isn't familiar. I need weapons. So do we. Unfortunately, there is one small problem with that. Our last smith died in combat. Uh, I... You're wearing a paladin's armor. I used to be a paladin before the orcs won the war for themselves. I fought for the king in the last battle for Vanguard, the capital. Now I'm just a refugee, just like everybody else here. Tell me what we... How can I support you? Yeah, just we... What? If it, yep. We... So, how? Explain this revolution thing to me. The cities of Mertana are ruled by orcs, but some of us rebels are lying low within the cities. When the time comes, the rebels will mobilize both slaves and free humans for the revolution. You must find these undercover rebels and follow their orders if you want to support us. Who is this? He's moved. I, I, but. Ah, a new man. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm taking care of our forces in Reddick. All right, I'll. They've... How exactly does the arena work? You challenge someone to fight and meet him in the arena. As soon as you enter the arena, it starts. Is that all? Not quite. There are two rules. First, anyone who leaves the arena in the middle of a fight loses. Second, when one of the fighters is on the ground and doesn't get back up, the fight is over. If... What are... If... Where... What... Mo so... I... Which...
I'm sure you must have more important Don't mind your own business. What do you want? Hey, what? Come here. Hey, folks, there's a fight. I, ouch, I really adore the new combat system, it feels really good and of course like a, a complete new level compared to stupid vanilla combat in Gothic 3. You really need to parry and, uh, and block now, it, um, it finally makes sense, because otherwise you will be defeated very fast. Also dodging the moves is more interesting and more rewarding now, as weapon hit um, angle is much more realistic now. Also, all melee and ranged weapons in the game were rebalanced and improved to make combat classes more competitive compared to mages who always were pretty much overpowered in the original game. You won the fight. Good job. You got what it take. If I want If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far into this cave system. What's wrong with these caves? We haven't completely explored them yet. There's supposed to be another exit somewhere to the east. It's possible. What? I'm in my I will eliminate the beasts from your eastern. We do not know if we. we fight with me in the arena. All right. We'll. Now we'll see who's stronger. Guard up. Watch out. Keep your guard up. Defend yourself. Uh. Keep your guard up. Uh. You can't be. Uh. No, nothing to be had there. It's always the little guy. Well fought. You just knocked me off my feet. Here. No, we do not.
Don't fool around here, stranger, or the orcs will punish us. What are you doing here? I'm a slave to the orcs. They make me work as a woodcutter on this farm. I'm working my butt off here, even though I'm actually a blacksmith, damn it. You're a blacksmith? <laughs> Fine. Right. Not What are you doing here, Mora? Shouldn't you be working in the fields? I hope for your sake that... I have come to challenge you to a duel. <laughs> but no one beats me, Mora. Stop right there, Mora! Hey, folks, there's a fight! Next time I'll get you, Mora. You fought well. What prize do you want for winning your fight? I want your slave out there. He isn't worth... You disappoint me. But if you want him, you can have him. And now go. I have things to do. No! 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 <laughs> Well, <laughs> that was expectable. I'll need to be more careful. Oh well, a bit more careful. That's... that's actually just great, because I, I clearly remember that last time I played Gothic 3, I was able to literally beat the three orcs at the same time by just stupidly clicking the left mouse button. Now game really forces you to invent something because I clearly can't beat uh, these three orcs in a straight combat. That's exactly what this game combat system needed for such a long time.
You are free now. Thank you. I thought I was going to die. The rebels in Reddick are in need of a blacksmith. Hey, that's wonderful. But I don't even know... I... Thank you. I actually don't remember if uh, properly walking uh, first-person camera was uh, present in original Gothic 3. I think not, right guys? But anyway, now it is just just cool to just run and look on the locations, on the landscapes, on the trees, because everything is looking just great. Here are five bundles of weapons. Very good. That will help. Here is some gold for your trouble. Cliff is a blacksmith and will work for you from now on. You did well, stranger. Now we can re- Thank you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Show me your goods. Okay, time to clean that cave. If I remember correctly, there are goblins, uh, varans, and one mine crawler inside. Well, let's take a look. Ugh. <sighs> 
That was enraged by the way, many beasts when uh, severely injured can go into rampage you know, and uh, uh, stop being staggered when you attack them. So you need to back up a bit and wait it until that uh, enraged state will fade off. I did not, I died. <laughs> Too, too hard, too hot, too hard.
Oh, shit. And by the way guys, did you forget about free meat? I did not.
You mean the beasts are gone? Incredible! This will. Show me you're good. We can talk later. The Orc Patrol on the farm. Thanks be to Eno. Oh, indeed. I just recalled that I forgot to pay a visit to a second Orc Patrol. Let's do this right now. Just a side note, take a look once again on these simply magnificent distant lots, it's beautiful.
Take care. Good job. Here's your share of our gold. And I also thinking that here is the time for us to buy a new decent armor. You're all right. You're all right. Well, that's already something. We have made almost all the main quests in Redok, and our next station is Cape Dune, a first city we will visit on our long path, controlled by the orcs. But before I will finish this episode, just let me show you a one more of many cool new features added by Content Mod. Haven't expected that, right? Now, after you liberate the city, that doesn't mean it is completely safe. Orcs will still try to organize raids on free towns, trying to capture them. Also, in cities controlled by the orcs, you can notice bandit raids and tugs raids attacking the towns to get some loot. These dynamic events are making cities much more alive and make you feel the country is under the war now, finally. That's it for today, my friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. And as always, stay tuned. Simitar Gaming here, signing out. Hey, I beat the crap out of him.